My name is Mackenzie Tucker and I am an LPGA player development professional for Club Corp. I wanted to take you on a journey today and talk to some women about how golf has impacted their life and the journey that it's taken them on. Let's go meet them. Into your gray. See, I finally opened up my eyes. So we're here at Seville with a family of three ladies who enjoy getting to play the game together. I think it's so special that they're able to play together and enjoy it together. So the first question that I have for you ladies is, how did you all get started playing the game? I've been golfing for a very long time. I went to kids camp at Seville and they taught us how to golf and my little sister is actually there. I was five and she was three. How did you kind of get started? I started with junior golf when I was six growing up in Champaign, Illinois and um, golfed with friends at junior golf. We just play like three holes and then go to the pool for the day and had a positive golf experience as a kid and took a break and then married a guy that loves golf and now it's a family golf experience a lot. So, What are some of your guys' favorite things about getting to play golf together? I love that we get to be outside. I love that everybody has to unplug and you can't be on your phone texting or watching a video or um, it's really pure family time and we get to just be out here and look at the amazing mountains and we still have fun and we still just, do, just feel like we're blessed to be out there and enjoying nature and time together. I like the competition. My dad and I, my dad and I compete and we, you know, we don't really talk about how we want to play better than each other, but like, at least for me, I'm always like, oh, is he beating me? Am I beating him? So that's always kind of like in the back of my mind. Yeah, but definitely. It's always fun. Yeah. What activities are you all maybe involved with within the game? And um, how has Seville as a club kind of cultivated uh, maybe some of those events and different activities that you all maybe participate in? So I participated in some of the women's events, not as much recently because work kind of affects my ability to get out here as much, um, but it's always a goal to try to play more. We have a couple couples that we play with, so that's always fun when we have other couples that we can get out there and enjoy an afternoon with and come back and have a cocktail afterwards and get to know some other couples. So that's pretty much how we interact, but part of that's because we're still home with the kids. So I know when they're in college, that'll change some too. Yeah, it's nice to have that availability. Um, I play for my high school golf team. I'm a sophomore. I played varsity for two years, even though our team's really small. <laughs> um, I went to state last year, and my goal next year is to go again and to try to get in the top 20 because they do like, I think it's, they like place in the top 20 and you get to like stand on a podium, which is what I want to do. Yeah. Um, but that's it. My sister's going into high school, and I'm excited for her to be on the team with me, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully I'll be trying out next year and I'll get to golf with her all the time. Yeah, that's awesome. That means a ride. Yeah. <laughs> what are some other goals that you maybe all have? Are you working towards anything, maybe a record or... Um, I, would, I would really like to play like a mother-daughter tournament. Yeah. I think that would be really fun. And I would also like to play in the Seville. They have like a kids tournament every year in August, I think. I'd like to play with my little sister Yeah. because we'd be in the same like flight. What would you tell to empower another women or girls who maybe start playing the game? I would say just try it. I have a lot of friends that I think are intimidated about it. Um, just try it. It's not about what you score. It's more about, I'm not as competitive about it, clearly. <laughs> it's for me, it's more the social experience and connecting with people. We joined when Casey was four days old. Wow. So we joined 16 years ago. And for me, it was a connection. It was a way to meet people. and. Um, as wonderful as motherhood is, it gave me something else to do and other people to meet and something else to be. And yeah. it's nice to have that. That is an option where you can get outside and meet new people and meet new women. And the women's club here has other functions besides just golf where it's like happy hours and events and things. So it was really nice to meet people in the beginning yeah. um, when she was super young. And for me, it's just really the social aspect yeah. that I've enjoyed. Definitely. Casey, what about you? What would you tell your sister to empower her a little bit? I would tell her that even though golf is really hard and it's really frustrating, it gets fun. It might not be fun when like you're just starting out and you're kind of, you know, you're whiffing or you're yeah. missing putts, but it gets really fun. Yeah. And you just got to like keep pushing. Yeah. Because eventually it'll <laughs> be more fun. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh, that's awesome. I love all of those answers. I think it's amazing. and such a way to empower other women to try and get into the sport, get started. Um, so thank you all for coming today and just chatting with us. 
um, and hopefully this will empower some more women to get out there and play. Thank you. Thank you. That was so fun to get to talk with a family of women who enjoy the game together. Let's continue on in our journey to another one of our clubs, Ganey Ranch Golf Club. Come on. A little too late for, I'm sorry for. The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord and I started to all right, we made it to Ganey Ranch Golf Club. Let's continue our journey and see if we can find some other lady members to talk with. All right, I'm here with some of our amazing Ganey Ranch women members to celebrate the National Women's Golf Day. And I just wanted to come on and ask them a few questions about um, golf and how it's impacted their life. Um, so I'm gonna start with Denise. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got started playing golf and how it's impacted your life? Well, I didn't start playing golf until my early 40s. I had three girlfriends, and two of which were already avid golfers, and the other two of us were pretty willing participants. Um, I grew up playing sports, so I was kind of looking for an outlet and to be outside, uh, to get exercise, and to challenge myself with a new skill set. I was tailor-made for golf. It was just <laughs> perfect. I, I was so quickly. Uh, golf has really provided me, um, impacted my life in a lot of ways, but I would say the number one way is it has allowed me to meet some interesting and successful ladies, or which are here with us today, and you as well, Mackenzie, and um, just allowed me to branch out, I guess. Uh, i traveled because of golf. I've uh, done other activities because of golf. Um, it's it's really been something that I think has allowed me a, a lot of growth. I'm still enjoying being outside. I'm still enjoying the exercise piece, and I'm still working to hit that perfect shot. Yeah. So it's provided a lot. Barbara, can you kind of tell us, um, talk about some of your favorite events that we have at the club, maybe even events outside of the club that golf has provided you with, and be some of your favorite events here? I like all the organized events that a uh, game provides for us. It's, they're all fun, uh, particularly the team play because I really gear myself up mentally for it because I love competition yeah. and I love playing with these beautiful women. Yeah. Uh, we're good friends, but when we're on the golf course, we're after okay. each other. <laughs> No, I, I, I enjoy all of it. I love the team play. We get to play match play and we get to do home and aways with uh, the Mountain League. Uh, there's seven other clubs. We get to go play on their courses. And yeah. we, and we get, I think women should be playing this game. It is just incredible. Yeah. Well, our Women's Golf Association here is unbelievably wonderful and they work so well with the club that every event is well organized and well attended and the food is fabulous and the oh, golf is good. Same. Yeah, <laughs> so each event. Yeah, yeah it's great. That's awesome. I think that's one of the amazing things about being able to be a member at a place is you um, automatically get plugged into yes, those kind of absolutely. things. So yeah, that's it's fun. All the events here. Caroline, what makes golf fun for you and why does being um, a member maybe foster that? You know, we kind of just hit on that, but what makes golf fun for you and how have you um, found to make it more fun as you've grown in the game? Well, I've been playing golf for 50 years, and uh, the reason I started golf was that uh, when I was, uh, my husband and I met, he was an avid golfer, and I decided I didn't want to be a golf widow. <laughs> so I took lessons, and I found that, oh, I have an aptitude. And uh, one of the things that makes it so much fun for me is the ability to uh, share golf with my husband. And we travel everywhere playing golf. Yeah. And uh, it's been a real focus in our lives. Um, the other things that I find so much fun about golf is being out in the sunshine, yeah. in the fresh air, and on our uh, velvet green uh, courses. And courses all over are so gorgeous with flowers and trees. And, um, and I love the um, uh, mental and physical challenges, especially as I've aged, that golf provides for me. 
Yeah. Cindy, can you tell us maybe what are some of the skills that you've learned from golf that, golf that have helped you in other areas of your life? Uh, probably the biggest one is patience. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to nod their head on that yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Learning how to be patient. Um, learning how to feel comfortable with people that I've never met before, that you're going to force them with people that you don't know, and um, you learn how to make quick friends. Yeah. And that's not something that came naturally to me. And so it's, it's, uh, it's been wonderful to learn how to do that because all of a sudden you're put in a situation where you have something in common with, let's say, two other people that you don't really know. And so it's amazing how as you play 18 holes with people, how much more in common you realize you have with people than you than not. Yeah. Um, it's also taught me how to be a team, work in teamwork with other people. Again, you may not know them very much. Um, and also how to make great friends. Um, when I first moved to this area, I didn't know anyone. And my husband and I played golf together, like Lynn talked with her husband, but I needed to find some girlfriends to play with. And so I thought I need to join a club because I'm not gonna get it going to a public course and maybe I'll find somebody to play with, maybe I won't. So this auto automatically put me into a network of similar people who are looking for similar things and also like Caroline said, the, the Women's Golf Association here does a great job. I uh, immediately, when I uh, after I joined, I was put with another member to play golf with and to learn uh, the course and to meet other people. And they do a really good job of getting you connected. What would you tell a younger golfer and to help them? And how would you help empower them to maybe grow in the game? Um, and learn from the game. I guess the number one thing you would tell a younger golfer or a beginning golfer is don't give up. Yeah. It is one of the most difficult games to play. It, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of strategy. and But once you get there, it's you, you do get hooked pretty quickly. Yeah. Yes, and I think we all have that in common. We get out there and all it takes is one amazing shot. May it be a putt, a, putt, a driver, a chip, once you do that, it's like, oh my God, I can do that. Yeah. And it, it does, it feels good. Yeah. And I feel the golf game itself is such a good tool for young women in their professional and um, personal lives. Overall, I think it could be used for business development, networks, all of it. So yeah. I think it's, it's a great, it's something that women should be doing more of. Yeah. I agree. I think it provides so much just integrity in your overall life and um, just the ability to socialize and have fun and um, just grow as a person. So I love all of the things that we just hit on and I just appreciate you all so much. And um, I I think the world of all of you because you're all incredible players and you make me want to grow as a person and a player as well. So thanks so much for celebrating and we'll catch up again. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on our travels today. I hope that the experiences that these women shared with you empowers you, whether you're a new golfer or an avid golfer, to continue on your personal journey. 